So Aaron Gillespie here alongside head coach Jake McKinley, week seven of the Coaches Show. And coach, uh, conference play officially got underway last weekend. You split your uh, opening series against Concordia. It was kind of a wacky weekend as far as the scores were concerned. Um, what was the general pulse of the team after the weekend split to open the conference? I mean, last year those guys came here and they took three out of four from us. So uh, we obviously have made huge improvements from a year ago, but still, you know, we, we certainly felt we were capable of winning the series. So there's a little bit of disappointment there, but at the same time, a lot of great things happened this weekend. We got some, some good pitching performances from some guys. Uh, offensively, you know, we continue to do a nice job. So uh, overall, you know, we're in a good position uh, with an overall win-loss record. And then in the conference, we're, we're right in the thick of it after, after week one. So um, overall, the, the pulse of the team is, is good, and, and we're confident we're ready to go this weekend. And kind of building off of that, in the uh, first game on Saturday, you picked up your 20th win of the season pretty early in the year to have, have 20 wins. You've got to be pretty happy about how that's going. Absolutely. I mean, if somebody would have told me before the season started that we would we would start 20 and 8, um, I would have been thrilled, you know. So uh, obviously, you know, anytime you split a weekend, you don't really know how to feel about it the next week. But uh, you know, at the same time, we're 20 and 8. We're in a great position to make a run uh, late here in the season. And uh, you know, I would guess the magic number for a for a uh, at large berth would be you know 35, 36 wins. So we just got to play, we got to play well the rest of the way, and uh, you know, make a nice push. Um, so then back to to last weekend, had three different guys finish the weekend hitting over 500. Uh, familiar face and Dan Comstock, a couple of guys who really stepped it up in Chris Freeman and Drake Ritchie. Um, Richie specifically started all, all four games at third base, hit 400, had three doubles and a home run. What does it say about the depth of your team to have guys like that? It's, it's awesome. I mean, you know, it's, it's one of those things. It's, it's a blessing and a curse at the same time. Uh, when you're so deep and you have really good players on your bench, you want to find ways to get those guys in. Um, you know, from a position player standpoint, we're a little bit crowded. But it's also it's a blessing because uh, you have a guy like Chris Freeman that you can put in there and he's gonna go four for eight for you. Or Drake, um, you know, he, he just did a fantastic job this weekend. Um, you know, offensively, he was kind of a spark plug. You know, I, I, I could see him hitting lead off. I could also see him hitting in the five hole. So um, I think wherever we put him, he's gonna produce. So, you know, to have that kind of depth, I think is imperative if, if you're gonna win at a high level and win in the postseason, because there's inevitable things like injuries or, you know, somebody cooling off. Um, so, you know, overall, I, I couldn't be happier with our depth and our position point. Uh, yeah, and on the mound, you got great starts once again from your one and two, Thomas Cox and Brett Solano. Uh, both guys went complete games for wins, and Solano picked up his NAIA best seventh win of the year already, 7-0 and now. Uh, what do you say about the way these guys have been locked in all season for you? Yeah, I mean, and I've said it before, they, those guys are so good because they're such good competitors. Uh, Thomas is a guy, you know, he, he, he's been really successful this year. Uh, you know, kind of pitching backwards, but also having, you know, a sneaky quick fastball in the back pocket. But at the end of the day, Thomas Thomas just throws strikes, uh, and, and he relies on his defense, um, and, and he's fiery out there. I mean, in a big game, I, I don't know if I'd want anybody other than him on the mound. And, and the same thing goes for Brett. Uh, you know, Brett got into a little bit of trouble early. Uh, he settled down and gave us a complete game. Um, and again, Brett, you know, he's three pitches for strikes, but what he does so well is is he's just, he's a competitor. And I, more than anything, Brett's a winner. Um, and that was the main thing when we, when we signed Brett. That's kind of the thing we had heard from local scouts and coaches is that this guy just wins games. And, and obviously he's 7-0. and um, So anytime he's on the mound, I, I feel confident. Even if, you know, we, we fall behind a little early because I, I know that Brett, uh, he's just, he's, he's a great competitor. And that's why he's able to. Uh, so then jumping forward, uh, you stay in conference play this weekend, home series against Corbin, a team you've had some success against as of late in the last couple of years. What do you know about the Warriors this year? Um, what do you look for this weekend? Yeah, I, I can tell you what, they're going to be tough. Um, they've, they've played really well this year. Um, their number one guy uh, is, is going to be one of the best guys we've seen all year. Um, last year he, he handled us just fine. So, uh, you know, it, I think it's going to be a battle, uh, just like last weekend. Um, so we've got to be sure, you know, from a pitching standpoint that, uh, you know, we're getting ahead of their hitters offensively, that we're putting pressure on their defense, and then, uh, you know, defensively that we just play good catch. Um, you know, body for body, I think it's going to be a great series, but uh, at the same time, I do expect us uh, to play well and, and put ourselves in a position to win the series. And before we jump into our featured senior, um, 
one final thing. We talked last week about the mustache, mustache march going on here with the team. Um, and kind of a new twist added into the fold, um, raising funds for prostate cancer research. And um, you've been very generous with your, your hair in the, in the effort. If uh, we raise $1,000, you've agreed to uh, shave your head on the field after the William Jessup game. Yeah, that's, uh, that's true. I mean, um, I'm just altering my face in any way I can help the community. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I mean, we I think we've gotten 200 so far. Somewhere around there. Um, so we're we're trying to raise a thousand for for prostate cancer awareness. It's obviously you know all for a great cause, and it's you know, prostate cancer is something that affects so many people across the country. So obviously anything we can do uh, to help support in that research, we're we're going to do. And it's and it's it's been it's been fun for our guys. I mean, guys are taking their mustaches seriously. I think uh, just for men hair products is. <laughs> Uh, they're, they're getting their economic situation stimulated by by the Menlo Oaks baseball team, but you know overall it's uh, it's been it's been a fun month for us so far, and, and I'm hoping that we can reach that target of one thousand dollars. I don't know how good my my head's gonna look shaved, but uh, darn it, I'll do it. <laughs> and that link will be on the uh, the homepage of the Menlo College website, Menlo Athletics website, as well as uh, the baseball page. So now we'll finally finish off with our featured senior this week, and that senior is. Dan Grazzini. Tell me a little bit about Dan. Yeah, you know what? He's uh, he's the complete package. Uh, obviously, he was drafted by the Giants a couple of years ago. So you know on the field you're getting a guy um, that's got you know, electric stuff. Um, but, you know, the thing that I like most about him is the kind of teammate he is. Um, he's been a little bit limited in his, in his time here. He's, he's battled a little bit of elbow stuff, which is he's healthy now. Um, but, gosh, every time he gets the ball, it's, it's loud, it's electric, and, and he comes right at guys. So in, in a big situation, um, I always feel super comfortable with him on the mound. Um, and, and like I said, the kind of teammate he is in the dugout is, is contagious. Uh, he's a funny guy, um, and, and the, guys, the guys love him. And on top of that, he, he's a 3.8 student in his college career. So, you know, like most of our seniors, he's going to be a highly successful person uh, in his life after baseball, and uh, you know the fact that you know I got to coach him for a couple of years, and, and he got to don the Oak uniform uh, is something that we take a lot of pride in. Great, thanks a lot, Coach, and best of luck this weekend. Thanks so much.